Okay, so what we're looking at here is the setup itself. It's 2.4 meters long and 60 centimeters wide. Um, it's probably, I can't remember the height on each sleeper, but there's four of them. Uh, it's waist high on me anyway. There's a not very technical definition. So one of the first things I guess I'll show you is my handy homemade filter. So this is a constant flow system, not a, uh, what do they call it? Siphon and drain. So you can see two out of three of the constant flow beds run into my homemade filter, which is really just a plastic container with a couple of sponges on the top. Underneath is charcoal, fish charcoal, um, in some stockings, which stops it from falling out the holes in the bottom of the filter box. I, you can also, I think you can probably see, I'll wave it around a bit, that's a nylon mosquito fly mesh. Uh, that I used to cover the top just to try and keep the worst of the leaves out. We are under a tree, so we do, you can see, get quite a bit of debris. So I'm actually, although it's remarkably shallow, oh, there's a husky dog over there, the old girl. She's 17, that old one. Um, I'll show you the beds. The beds are made from plastic guttering. Now my biggest criticism, of course, is that they're too shallow. Having said that, you can probably see this is the plants have been in about three weeks now, uh, and they're actually going pretty well, I've got to say. So, for all my criticism, you can see it's sloped just to help get that drainage running. That'd be right now, the my nylon mesh is flapping around, so you could have seen it more easily. I found that I don't get a lot of water up this end, um, here's where the water flows in. I've put a little tap in that one just in case I feel the need to turn it off at some stage of the game. We'll see if we can get you a look. There you go. So they're not particularly strong flowing. Uh, what do we got where? We'll get under there. And there's a, the middle one's probably the strongest. And we've got another one on the third bed. So we've got a few cherry tomatoes here. We've got uh, quite a bit of lettuce, as you can see. The lettuce is doing remarkably well. Uh, there's my model's hand put in there just to give you some sort of idea. Uh, these front lettuces are less than a week old, so you know, in my view, they're going great guns. I made up an insecticide from garlic and onion today because we had a few grubs. Oh, look, we can probably see, we can see this little fella for you. There's one tiny little guy. So I'll just pick him off. Uh, where is he? He did not like the garlic and onion spray at all. But we're going to throw. What I've been doing is I just throw these little guys straight in, and the jades will eat him up. Um, yeah, quite a bit of lettuce. Uh, this is my basil. Now I'm actually really happy with the basil. I've harvested that four times in three weeks uh, Which I reckon is pretty pretty good going so you can see a bit more lettuce there on the end um, Yeah, I'm actually remarkably happy with it uh, Like I say given that those beds are way too shallow. Uh, I didn't use uh, clay balls I just use you can see gravel Now on the bottom. I'll see if I can get in here on the bottom, we've got mostly that grade gravel, so it's the bigger, the bigger stuff, and that helps the water flow through a little bit quicker. Because I was finding that originally it was running too strong, and the water would just run straight over the sides. But that seems to have fixed itself now. I've turned the pump down a bit. See if we can get you a look. Oh, there's that husky dog again. Oh, there's the sister. So that one's a year younger. She's only 15 uh, or 16, and the other old girl is 16 or 17. Uh, you can see the bits of wood down the end there. That's in case I need to put a shade structure on. So I've actually bought um, some fence palings that'll hold it up because it's only uh, that black black shade cloth uh, at about 70%. But 
looking at the plant so I'm not seeing so far that I need it so I'm not going to put it on unless I need to put it on. Alright, we're going to see if we can give you a look at some fish here. Got the foods in, you can certainly see the piranha-like activity which is always fun to watch. They're much, much more enthusiastic feeders certainly than the couple of silvers that I had. I've noticed that they do tend to stay up one end of the tank where I usually feed them. So I guess they're not stupid, hey? Even though they're fish. I'm hoping we can actually see a little bit of the action there. Uh, it's looking like we can, which is pretty good. So these are my $4 jades. Uh, meant to be a little bit bigger than the normal $2.50 ones that we get. Uh, and I've got to say they're really hard to see. So this video is probably the best look I've had at the fish to date, to be honest. Okay, so there you go. There's the jades in action. I tend not to feed more than I know they'll eat. Um, so that way there's never any leftovers uh, left to sink to the bottom and make a big, a big fat hairy mess for me to have to fix up. Alright guys, there you go. Jade in action.